Pop slander will not be tolerated. Are we having fun yet? Let's talk about Greg Popovich, the godfather himself. And this is what Steve Kerr had to say about Pop. Coach Pop has been my mentor for many years, having played for him and then picked his brain over the last seven or eight years. And the opportunity to work with him, I've learned so much, not just about the game, but about people, about culture. Now, I do want to talk about this because a lot of times you bring up that Popovich is really good when it comes to people and really good when it comes to culture and really good when it comes to empathy for other experiences and people will automatically just say that doesn't matter that's stupid i just want you to coach basketball that's all i want you to do but i'm going to explain why that's important or at least in my perspective why the things that popovich does is important when it comes to the x and o's of basketball that can only take you so far like when it comes to uh, you know, a play that you write up, even if we're thinking about some of the greatest moments in Spurs history, a lot of these weren't necessarily plays that were drawn up. It was just the talent that you had on your team. Now, Popovich has won many of games through his brilliant basketball mind, but, you know, every good or great coach, they... they they're kind of they're kind of similar in, in their in their approaches. They're pretty similar in their game plans. They're pretty similar with what they do in the NBA, because when it comes to the NBA, it's all about talent. For instance, if you take a team that has, I don't know, Steph Curry, uh, Kevin Durant and Draymond Green and Klay Thompson, you probably don't have to draw up uh, too many plays to be successful. OK, you can basically give it to Kevin Durant, and say, go to work. Give it to Steph Curry and say, go to work. Give it to Clay and say, go to work, right? And you might take another team that's going against them. They might not have a chance, even if they were well coached. So when it comes to Pop and why talking about people and why understanding the culture is so important, I will say it's important because it has more of an implicit effect rather than an explicit effect. Like if you're thinking about anybody named that isn't Steven Jackson that came out of the San Antonio Spurs, they're always praising Popovich for how he related to them as a person. Even when they're having problems with Pop, like that young, he talks about how you know close he is with Pop. Like he, he likes Pop. But with that being said, it does have an implicit effect when the way that Popovich goes about his business. Like whether we're talking about the rodeo road trips in which Popovich always has the players play together um, or not, not well, obviously play together, but I mean like play uh, bowling together, go out to eat together. There has been many of occasions and many articles talking about this, that Popovich will have players come to his house on certain nights. Like I think he would have dinner with DeJounte Murray all the time. These things are important because it brings camaraderie and it brings togetherness. And he does these things all the time. Even if we're talking about what DeMar DeRozan said about Pop, when he was talking about um, how Popovich often shows like movies and he kind of relates that to the team. It's a lot of things that Pop does outside of the X and O's that makes him a brilliant coach. So it really frustrates me when people start criticizing Pop like they know exactly what they're talking about. You don't. There's certain things that we can sit back and we can complain about. We can say, oh, you know, Pop, why don't you play this player a little bit more? But at the end of the day, he is a genius in what he does. Like, you're not going to get better than Greg Popovich. This is one in a lifetime, just like Tim Duncan. This is a one in a lifetime talent. So you have to cherish it and you have to sit back and just be appreciative what you have. I'm not saying don't criticize. You know, sure, he's human. He makes mistakes. I, I think that Jock Lindell should play a little bit more, obviously. Like, yeah. yeah. But with that being said, Pop understands people. He understands culture. And that brings so much to our team. I'm dreading the day that Popovich is gone literally dreading it so with that being said i just wanted to take some time and go ahead and give some love to the godfather because he just doesn't get enough credit sometimes man people are really quick to just hate on him when things are things are bad and i i'll just be completely honest i think it's due to a lot of like political stuff which is really weak okay this is america all right all right okay knock it off Anyways, I'll give it to you guys later, man. Um, you want to support the channel, link in the description. Only $2 a month, Patreon, YouTube members. And uh, don't talk about pop on this channel or you'll get blocked.